Hello lads and welcome to how to make the most out of your day. Look at me holding a mic like I'm a commentator or something. So in this quick little video, I'm going to explain, well, how to make the most out of your day. And it all starts with waking up early. Good morning. Um, the time is currently like 6.30 and I'm so tired. I'm having to whisper right now because no one's awake and I don't want to wake anyone up, you know? Gotta have manners. Waking up early really gives you a sense of productivity. It gives you a lot more time to do the things you want to do. And when you go to bed at night, it feels amazing. So I'm gonna get ready and start walking. So after lugging yourself out of bed, it's time to get a quick nutritious breakfast and get started with your day. Right, so I'm on my way to the beach, um, carrying my surfboard, of course, cause you know, I'm a surfer. Did I mention it? The time is currently around seven and hopefully we're gonna catch the sunrise there. Um, I don't know if there will be one because I don't actually know if there's clouds or not. And so I'll see you at the beach where there's less cars making loads of noise and uh, yeah. See you in a bit. Now I am aware that not everyone is as fortunate as me to be able to go down to the beach in the morning and watch the sunrise because if you live in England, good luck finding the sun. But just ensuring you are outside, interacting with nature, interacting with other people. Being on a call or face to face is really important. It's way better than texting. We're not built to feel affection when we're texting. We're not built to feel love and support when we're texting. So try to use more natural means like you know going outside and seeing someone so yeah it's not quite as nice as the sunrise the other day um but you know we move and once again i know not everyone can go surfing but this bit's more about the exercise you know not like i've spoken about it before on the channel but exercise is so important for mental health and physical health i can't emphasize how how much it's affected me and how much it can affect everyone if they decide to participate in it. What do we think about holding the mic, by the way? Is it better or worse or what's happening? And we are done with surfing. Now it's time to get some food, I think. Bop, 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 bop. No. My friend Joshua is the best. Thanks. Love you, bro. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, going out for food is probably not the most important part of the day. But again, spending time with your friends, making some memories is so important for your mental health and feeling happy. Also, you know, eat healthy and that. I don't need to say all that, do I? Right, and I've just finished editing. Look, look at me go, what a pro. And I'm absolutely shattered. Um, and I need to go to work and shower. And I have no time. So that's gonna go well, but yeah bye editing these videos is all part of a long-term goal and a purpose that i feel i have and that makes me feel so much better about my day when i'm striving towards these things it makes me feel like i've actually done something with my day other than just have fun you know i mean not like these aren't fun you know i'm having a great time to be honest this work is just sort of a means to stay here and do what i actually want to do like make these quality videos so please subscribe like like now Please. And I think at this age, I think that's kind of normal. You know, I don't really want to settle down with a job. I don't want to be a full-time adult, do I? But sometimes we have to do things we don't particularly want to do. And sometimes it's finding the less difficult thing or the least difficult thing to do just to get to where you want to be. Sometimes not everything we're doing is fun or something we want to do. But if it's all part of a, of a way to achieve a goal, then you've got to do it. But if these things are stopping you achieving your goals, then maybe it's something you want to reconsider. So um, I've just finished class and I'm absolutely shattered. Um, I think I have to drink tonight as well because it's my mate's birthday tomorrow. So we're going to see how that goes. If I pass out, I'll let you know in the morning. But if not, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And um, so I'm just <laughs> rubbing out my board, you know teacher duties i've recorded this all the next day so i'm just going to continue talking here you know there's no fancy cut to the next day where i look different but making your days full and feeling busy is so important for feeling happy and i think it's one of the main reasons why i feel so happy right now because every day i'm filling it up and doing things that are purposeful beneficial and fun 
and exciting. The feeling of going to bed absolutely exhausted is unmatched. You know when you lie down and just like sink into the pillow? Ugh. If you're doing this, making all your days busy and exciting alongside chasing a long-term goal, then I think it's really easy to feel content and happy with your life. It will give you feelings of satisfaction, productivity, and most of all, motivation because that is something we often lose when it comes to mental health problems. Anyway, that's pretty much the end of the video. It's a little bit of a different one today, but you know, I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will see you soon. I'm really enjoying making the videos right now, so please subscribe. And if I know you and you don't like the video, I'm gonna... Anyway, I will see you later. Goodbye, love you all. Adios. Bye.